Welcome to another Method Man episode. Today we're going to learn about the length of the arc of a circle. Here are the Common Core standards in case you need it, as well as the CS, CRS standards for you ACT math takers out there. What do I need to know to find out the arc length? The very first thing that you need to know is how to use a circumference formula, which is given by 2 times pi times the radius and how to solve proportions by cross multiplying and solving. The question is asking, what is the length of the arc PQ? If I take a highlighter right here, I see the central angle 210 degrees. An arc length is just a piece of that circumference that kind of outlines the central angle that's given to us right here. So I'm trying to find the distance from P through Q. And notice how I said distance. Well, let's think about it. The distance between the whole circle is the circumference of that circle. So let's find that out first by using the circumference formula. Circumference equals 2 pi r. I have 2 times pi. I'll just use 3.14 times my radius. My radius in this problem is 12. And if I do that, I get my circumference to come out to be 75.36. How can that help me find the arc length? If I set up a proportion right here, a whole circle is 360 degrees. 360. I know that 360 degrees has the distance of 75.36. So that's throughout the whole thing. Now I just have to match it up with my central angle, 210 degrees. 210 degrees goes through that arc length PQ, which is what I'm trying to find. I don't know what distance that is. We'll leave that as X. Now I have a proportion, a cross multiplying problem, and I can solve this by doing 360 times X. 360X equals 210 times 75.36. That gives me 15,000. 825.6 divide both sides by 360 and I get 43.96 which is the length of my arc let's see if that answer makes sense well the whole circle is 75.36 distance around so it makes sense that a part of it the arc length PQ is less than 75.36 which is 43.96 all right this problem is not like the one that i just showed you but it requires the skill that i did just show you use your brain on this one please pause the video and try the problem on your own when you have finished play the video for an awesome explanation the question is saying what is the perimeter of the shaded region Think about what that word perimeter means. The perimeter of that shaded region. All right, for the answer, I'm pretty sure that you got it. But if not, listen to my explanation. Let's go over what that word perimeter means. Perimeter means the distance around. So from here through the arc length back to the center. Let's do the ones in blue first. Well, I know my radius was given to me by eight meters. So eight plus eight. That's where these two eights come from. And now I just have to find the pink region, which is my arc length DE. To find out the arc length DE, the central angle is 160. Put that over 360, which is the whole circle. And then X, I don't know what the arc length is. And 50.24 is the circumference of the whole circle. 360 matches up with 50.24, 160 is what opens up to that arc length. Cross multiply 360 times x, 160 times 50.24 gives me 8038.4, and then just divide both sides by 360, and you get the measure of that arc length. x equals 22.32. A lot of people are gonna stop right there, but that's not what the question was asking. It's asking for perimeter, which is the distance around the highlighted area. So it's the two in blue and my arc length 22.32, which is the outside. And your answer is 38.32.
Hopefully that helped you figure out what an arc length is and how to find the measure of an arc length. Remember, you need to learn how to cross multiply and solve, how to set it up, and how to use this circumference formula, and you got this problem. Until the next time, see you guys.